Thank you for letting me examine your right shoulder, Lisa. Um, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a few other questions. Yes, please, doctor. Uh, could you tell me when you first began experiencing this pain in the shoulder? Yes, doctor. So I experienced this pain for the first time uh, after a day while playing cricket. Okay, so a day after think... you started playing cricket. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay. And could you, can you think of any activities or any injuries that might have triggered this pain? No, doctor. I really feel that uh, after playing cricket only, I uh, feel uh, this pain and I have injured my shoulder. Okay. Um, I'd first like to clarify that, Lisa. Uh, it's unlikely that this injury happened uh, during the game while you were playing cricket. So uh, if that were the case, typically injuries that happen during some physical activity are experienced immediately. And like you said, your pain started a day after you started playing cricket, right? Yes, that's right. Mm. Before I share my findings with you of the examination, are there any questions or concerns that you have? Yes, doctor. I'm really worried that what happened to my shoulder and I really want to know that what's the main cause. That's a reasonable concern, Lisa. Let me explain what has happened. Um, so when you started playing cricket, you might have uh, put repeated pressure on the muscles in the right shoulder area. Uh, so for instance, any activities like swinging the bat uh, during uh, cricket or throwing a ball. So these uh, must have led to overuse of muscles uh, around the right shoulder area and that's caused about an inflammation. So uh, that is the reason why you're experiencing this pain. The medical term for this condition is called bursitis. Uh, having said that, I'd like to reassure you it is a common condition and it is easily treatable, does not have any long-term consequences if we follow the right recourse. Do you have any questions so far? Uh, no, doctor. Thank you for confirming me that because I'm really get worried about my shoulder and I really thought that I won't be able to play the cricket again. And thank you for that. Uh, I completely understand what you're saying. Um. Lisa, if it's okay, I would like to suggest that we, we you see any physical activity involving your movement of your right shoulder immediately. That would also mean that you have to cease playing cricket until the time your shoulder has recovered completely. Would you be able to do that? Doctor, I won't prefer that much uh, rest or something. So I, I really want an active life. So can you suggest me something from which I can uh, recover as soon as possible? I, I can understand that you, are, you have reservations about keeping uh, idle. And this might be one of the ways you use your spare time. But Lisa, in this case, if you continue to play uh, cricket or if you engage any kind of physical activity involving uh, your right shoulder muscles, it could strain the muscles further and this could lead to more severe cases uh, causing a long-term uh, strain on the shoulder, long-term potential complications. I don't think it is wise. It is imperative that we give it the rest that it needs because our body needs to uh, rest and time to heal from any inflammation. So I would suggest that you give it the time that it needs to recover from this inflammation. And after that, we could look at some long-term strategies so that we can prevent a reoccurrence of this kind in the future. What do you think about that? All right, doctor, no worries, I'll do that. Great, thank you for being so accommodating and accepting of these suggestions. There are two ways that we can explore for long-term management of this condition. Uh, once you have recovered, once your shoulder has properly recovered, the first thing I would like you to do is uh, look at physiotherapy, explore this as an option for strengthening the muscles around your uh, right shoulder. Okay, would, would you be willing to consider this? Yes, doctor, I will. Okay. Right. And the second thing would be to consider joint protection techniques. I think both of these techniques combined would make sure that this is not this doesn't happen in the future. It doesn't reoccur in the future. 
Okay, right. Do you have any questions that you'd like to ask? No, doctor. Thank you.